What's up guys? Today I am headed out to hopefully kill a hog or two. Um, it's been a while since I've been bow hunting for hogs I guess. Not necessarily but um, I got some kind of, I mean I got something coming into this feeder uh, down here that you guys have seen. Last night they were there at about 7 o'clock which is right at about dark. Really not. I mean, I've only had the cell cam up there for a day, and they came in last night. So it's 73 degrees today, and sunny, and or it was sunny. It's kind of cloudy now, but it's just a really good day. Not very much wind, so I figured I might as well go out and sit for a little bit and see what comes in. There's a really big one. It's coming in with this group, and hopefully I can shoot it. But uh, if they do come in when it's too late, I got the IR, I got the big camera and this camera that I'm filming with right now. And the big camera films with like some IR and stuff and I can film that. I got red light, the red lights too. So if they come in too late, I'm probably gonna sit till like 7.30. I'm not gonna sit real late after dark. Um, so hopefully they come in and uh, I can get a shot at this big one because uh, I'd like to shoot him, he's got big teeth. and. Uh, it's just, he's a really good one. So, I'm hoping that that works out and he comes in and I can get a shot, so. Okay, so it's actually really hot and there's like no wind at all, but uh, what little bit of wind that I do have, it's going this way, which is good. I put some bait out. Feeder just went off as soon as I got here. So uh, we should be good. With it being warmer like this, it's been really, really cold and the hogs usually don't move very well when it's in the teens. But, um, and in the 20s like it has been. Like I said, it's about 70 degrees today and uh, they should be up and moving. So I'm gonna sit tight and see what happens. All right, so as you can tell, I uh, just shot a hog and it was crazy everything that happened. So I'm gonna kind of give you guys a little rundown on what happened. So this group that's been coming in has a really big born it that I really wanted to shoot. And before I told myself, I was like, I'm not gonna shoot any other hog with that one unless one just as bigger out of that group anyway. Well, they came in way earlier than they did yesterday and usually I bait on that road right there about 20 yards away but I hadn't been here lately and they didn't know the corn was there they were all under the feeder which is like 45 and hopefully you can still see me I don't know but uh they came in and stayed over there until it got dark and I haven't had very good luck with lights and hogs I don't know if you guys have but I definitely haven't and I don't really like filming at night because the footage isn't as good but I drew about seven or eight different times trying to get the light right but I'm not really 100% sure where I hit the hog that I shot. I was uh, 
Uh, like I said, I couldn't see my pin very good at all. I shot it, not like I said, not sure at all where I hit it. Um, it looked good. It acted like it it was hit. The other hogs took off, and um, I guess I'm either I'm either gonna give it a little bit, look at the footage, and go back tonight and try and find it, or I'm gonna come back in the morning so y'all will see one of the two right now. All right, so it is obviously the next morning, and it is in, incredibly windy. Like, I can't, it, it's ridiculous. Anyway, <clears throat> it rained a little bit last night, which if I'd have known it was gonna rain, I would have uh, just tried to find the hog last night, but I reviewed the footage, and you guys could tell, you saw the little spark and stuff. Um, I did hit that hog pretty low, like really low, um, so, I'm hoping that I caught the bottom of the heart because lungs are definitely out of the question. It was way too low for that. So I'm hoping I cut the bottom of the heart. And if that's that's the case, then she shouldn't have went far. And even without blood, I should be able to find it. Should be within a hundred yard radius for sure. I'm gonna get over there and see if I can find it. I see it laying right there. I'm right there's the bond yeah you can tell it's a little washed the the deal is a little washed out there it looks white but anyway uh, I can see it so the shot was really low actually there's my arrow see any of the blood on it because I said it did rain last night. It actually rained quite a bit. I didn't turn any lights on. I didn't do anything. I just got out of the blind. I just, I just got out of the blind and left. So I'm going to get this loaded up and We'll do all the talking in the truck because it's really windy. I just got it stuck almost. Yeah, my truck's not four wheel drive either. So, I hope I didn't lose the hog. No, okay, we did. I really wish last night I would have just shined the light and I would have seen it. But I was filming through the hour of the camera, so I was just looking like that and. If I'd have just shined in a normal light, I probably wouldn't have seen it because it wasn't too far. Got a hog shot. Hopefully that group will come back and I can shoot the big one. Be sure to like if you enjoyed. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already subscribed. And I will see you guys next time.